A couple of years ago, I had a space heater at the end of a 100 foot long extension cord heating up a shed. And I was kind of wondering how much power was being used just to heat the extension cord um, as resistance on its way to getting to that space heater. So right here, this is a space heater. And on an electrical diagram, that's basically just gonna be a bunch of ohms of resistance. And same thing here, like the element there is just gonna be a bunch of ohms of resistance. But then you've got this wire that connects it to the wall and that wire is just copper it shouldn't be a lot of resistance but there's still going to be some amount of ohms of resistance getting to the space heater so if you had a hundred foot long extension cord leading out to that shed how much power is going to go to actually heating that extension cord as opposed to just making it all the way to the space heater and most importantly does the wall socket end up needing to take more power because that extension cord is drawing more power or does the whole system actually draw less because there's more ohms in the system? I didn't fully think about it at the time, but I was just working on this electric subsurface gold dredge project and I did some tests and here's what I found out. So this is a 12 volt battery, uh, lithium iron phosphate, and this is a bilge pump. So I had the bilge pump set up in water in the laundry tub and I basically just ran it through this power meter right here directly the path of least resistance through this wire and to the bilge pump. And the reading I got on the power meter was 158 watts. Now, this is a 25 foot long extension cord, nice heavy 10 gauge cable. These XT60 connectors is what I'm using. And when I ran this, I noticed that it actually drew less power from the battery, specifically 8% less from the battery. So when the power meter was plugged in on this side of the extension cord, then went all the way through the extension cord and out to the pump, I was only drawing 146 watts instead of 158. But what came out of the extension cord when I put the power meter over here was now only 139 watts or 13% less. Now that's not terrible for a 25 foot cord, but 13% less actual suction power for your gold dredge Although the bonus is your battery will last 9% longer or use, uh, sorry, 8% less power. Now this cord over here, this is a coaxial cord or it was advertised as one, but it's just a single cord and it's got the same nice XT60 connectors on it. This is just 20 feet instead of 25, but it didn't list what gauge cable that was. So I wanted to test it out um, just because, you know, it's a nice convenient cable, but with this cable, after we run into the cable and come out the other end, the pump was down 35%. I was only getting 117 watts of power to this pump as opposed to that 158 after coming out of here. Now, your battery would last longer because we were only drawing uh, 132 watts. So the battery was putting out 19% less power to deliver 35% less power down here. Still inefficient. But I guess the moral of the story is these things really matter, especially with this 12 volt stuff. Um, I bought a 25 foot extension just because I wasn't sure which situations I wanted to test in. You really only need a few meters, say 10, maybe 15 feet maximum. And I would stick with a nice 10 gauge cable to maximize your efficiency. Or if you need to get really far away from shore, just throw the battery in a backpack or float it on a little raft and uh, don't worry about having a really long extension cord. Now, the good news is I was still able to get plenty of suction to run this system through either one of these extension cords. But over here, this is the stock impeller that comes with that bilge pump. And this is my custom 3D printed closed faced six blade one. This impeller will get you about 20% better suction than the stock. And I put a ton of time and effort into getting that. So why take that 20% better suction and just kill it with a too long and too narrow extension cord? Use a nice thick gauge cable and use a shorter cable than what I have here. And that will give you the maximum suction possible. You can get away with it, but uh, hey, why not go for more, right? Anyways, I thought that was kind of interesting, so I wanted to share. Cheers. Thanks for watching, everybody.